Yo, it's Jazz. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you're returning subby, what's up, sis? Why do I look like the last vlog that stopped off on? Because I wanted to start a new vlog. Because I wanted to start a new vlog. So, left off from last week. I'm just sitting here resting. But we are about to start the DIY bubble cauldron. So... These lights, and I just broke a nail. Literally, right when I hit record. It's on the bed, whatever. No, it's right here. Literally just broke it. I got an oven put on. That's the best thing about press-ons. You can just pop it back on, but this is what we're going to start off with our cauldron. Yes, she is sleeping. We've been in the bed chilling, baby. We're using these. They are ornaments. They came from Hobby Lobby. They're the iridescent ones. Um, they're 50% off right now. So we have a small tray of those. We have four packs of the large ones. See, I made this last year, but I messed up. I put twinkle lights down in here. I'm gonna just take this out so I can show y'all exactly what I did so y'all can see. Let's see. Can y'all see that? Can you see that? Let's see. Oh, better. Okay, cool. So, these are just ornaments, okay? So, I'm going to tell you exactly what I did. I took a styrofoam ball and I put it in the bottom of here. This cauldron came from Target. I'm going to link this because it's back again this year. I just took a styrofoam ball and hot glued it to the bottom. Took some black um trash bags and just stuffed it down in here like so then i went ahead and put my twinkle lights at the bottom of here and just kind of push it down a little bit and yes i used these last year i actually broke oh shit i just broke another one see i just oh i just broke that one i started in the garbage can Oh my God, listen to that. That sound was terrible. I have broken three of them, no, four of them since trying to recreate this. Anyway, so this is what it's gonna look like. This is gonna be at the back part. And what I'm gonna do on the kitchen table is take it, stick it under there like that. It may or may not work. If that does not work, I'm just going to stuff this like so and just hide this at the back. And when it turns on, that's what it'll look like. So I got my glue gun on and we're going to start on this side, I think. You're going to start on this side, that's fine. AJ and they're watching the game, so I'm pretty sure y'all hear it. So I'm going to take these, this size. Uh, this isn't the largest size that they have at um, Hobby Lobby. I think these are more of the medium, but I'm just going to sit them down in here like so. So I'm turning the front, I'm turning the front of these down like that and so <sighs> pointing that like that trying to get them all pointed down to the bottom so we have our first layer. Now I'm about to take my glue gun and I just got the mini glue gun. I didn't put my big one up. I'm just going to put a dab of glue here and it's gonna stick to that one. I'm gonna take a dab of glue here that's gonna stick to that one. So on and so forth, that's how I'm gonna do it. So let's find little grooves to glue them. Are y'all football people? I'm not. I watch it with him. I grew up as a Steelers fan, but AJ is a Cowboys fan. And I am highly considering doing some Bois d'Or photos. He can't hear me. And 
he ain't gonna sit and watch my long vlogs anyway. Um, he's not a YouTube watcher person. He doesn't understand why people watch people. <laughs> he don't understand why the kids like watching kids play. He don't understand why I watch other people. So he's not gonna hear this, but um, I want to do a board, board, board oh my God, board door photo shoot and um, have on a Cowboys jersey for our anniversary, which is coming up next month. So yeah, the only time I'm into football is when it relates to something like that. <laughs> Other than that, I'm not a, a football girl. Like I'll watch it with him, but I don't know what's going on. Mind you, AJ played football in college. I was into it then because it was for him. So I was into it then. But other than that, mm mm. Okay. I'm gonna have to mop that floor. I'm gonna sweep that floor. So this is what we look like so far. That is our bottom layer. And once y'all put it on, you see that's how it looks. See? Cool. Next. <clears throat> Those are good. So you're gonna take that same size and you can start putting those on top of each other like that. We're gonna focus towards the front of this, which is here, because they are going to have to trickle down and y'all will understand what I mean once I actually finish. But starting putting the bigger ones on top so it can kind of be of a space filler. But mind you're gonna turn them upside down, just like that, okay? So turn it upside down. So I'm about to do that so they can kind of sit on top so they can look like the bubble effect. Um, and I'll be back once I'm done putting the big ones on top. I'm watching McKenna Walker right now. So we are about to watch the vlog. Yeah, my friend ended up calling me and I ended up doing all of it, but this is how it looks. I don't like that you can see that because some of that glue is old from last year. But this is what the cauldron looks like. I think it looks nice. And mind you, it's just something for the core. Y'all might be like, what is this for? It's just decoration, that's it. But I like how it looks. We are about to take an impromptu trip to my father-in-law's house. And I just want to show y'all these green velvet curtains. So these are the curtains that I took down this month. I think this is. Oh yeah, then he has eggs. We never have to buy eggs, so I bought some this morning. But it's because I was in a desperate need for them. So I gotta take some down so I can get some eggs. What can I put the eggs in? I threw in my cartons this morning. I didn't think we was going down there today. Um. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have anything else to put them in, AJ. Okay, a bowl. So these are the curtains. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna clip them. AJ, do you like how to clip them like that so you ain't gotta? So just clip the curtains. Okay, so he wants me to clip them, so. Let me see if I can show y'all. Y'all are kind of, huh? You ready? Okay. So, we clip them like so. And I really don't know how to, what space I'm clipping them. I'm just clipping them. I make it look, <laughs> how to make it look uniform? Who was that? Oh, who's she? When you ready to walk out the door, yell. I said, yeah, we were in walk out. The TV's still on. Oh, I need a freaking chair for this. We have more curtain clips as well. So what I'm gonna do is just... Alan! Alan! What's wrong? Boy, why you scared me? He talking about he ready. The TV's still on because he watched the football guys. Bong, 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 bong. I like this song. They say she said it. They said it. 
Okay. Oh, my back burning doing this. I'm gonna get a chair when I do the other side. But this is what they look like. Turn the TV off. I don't think I like the green. Oh, I got them 96 inches so they can really hit the ground. But the green? Let me show you. Y'all, that green. I'm gonna have to bring the ring light in here so y'all can see, but that green. The fact that this pillow looks beige on here is throwing me because it ain't even that bad. It's white. Why does it look beige? Whatever, I don't, I don't care. Judge. Anyway, the green curtain looks really, really good. I can't wait to put this one up and then it's gonna look real good together. So that means we will not be doing the accent wall green because that ain't gonna work. But I'm about to go have this conversation with him in the car because I'm gonna look up accent walls for um, earth tones because that's what they said. I was looking up some stuff online. It was like, it's called earth tone, jungle or boho, whatever you wanna say. Um, so yeah, the transition to green, I think the green is way better. So we're gonna try to find some ideas for an accent wall because that's where I want it. This is coming down this week and going back to Hobby Lobby. Mr. and Mrs. will be bought as soon as I take that down. Mr. and Mrs. is actually cheaper than that because that picture was 30 some dollars. The Mr. and Mrs. is 22 on Amazon. And I have a plug right down there on that side. So it's gonna go up perfectly. I'm gonna measure to see how long this is. I don't want it to look stupid being little, but I think once the LED light comes on, it really won't make a difference about it being little. I don't think so at least. So yeah, anyway, let's go down here to the country and let's get some eggs. What's out there? Okay, your brother gonna pull it out. Our ghost is so cute. He's cute. <laughs> and our cauldron looks really good too. Now, why you got a curse? See, you just don't. He just don't ever do. He don't do right. But look, y'all. Everything looks so good. We are getting to the point where we write notes now. So while we was out at my father-in-law's house, Alan was having a time. A bad attitude time. So he wrote me a note. He said, good night. Well, love you. I'm sorry on how I act. And I promise that I would not, it would not happen again. I remember writing these to my mama. <laughs> so yeah, we, we're at this point now. At least he recognizes what was wrong. And he apologized for it. This is parenting, guys. This is what parenting is. It's... It has its ups and its downs. More ups than downs, though, but... This is parenting. This is parenting. This this is it. Hey, guys. Happy uh, Monday. Just got home from work. Today starts the first day of homecoming week. And... I was definitely homecoming today. We had pajama day. Um... Alan, can you pass me those shoes over there? We had pajama day today. 
thing your girl has been in a slump all day because I've been wore out. But I got an order from Timu and I do want to share this link because a lot of people has asked for this link on my Instagram. So I will be putting that down in the description box below. I just broke another nail and I broke my thumb. So I'm about to put mine on soon, my, soon, soon as I'm done. But the, Addie, can you turn it down for a second? Can you turn it down? She have a name. She have a name. Okay, she's not gonna turn it down. Anyway, I got these cute little golden goose dupes off of Timu. These shoes were only $17. I got a size 12 for Addie. They fit true to size. They are very cute, fashionable, comfortable. Um, they come in light pink, silver, and black. I just ordered the black pair. <clears throat> now, I feel crazy for ordering this because the last ones that I ordered off of Timu were larger. And this is small, but we are gonna make it work. <laughs> I wanted some red because that's our school color. And on Fridays, I like wearing our school color, but this is supposed to be like a Van Cleef dupe. But y'all, this thing is small. It's small, but I mean, it'll work for what I need to work for. So yeah. It's cute, it's just small. The one I got before was like the normal size that it, it was real. So this is what I have, it's cute. Um, I have a green one and I have a white one. Also, oh my gosh. Also, what I ordered was some football patches. I have been seeing this corduroy, um, this corduroy, corduroy, corduroy. Addie, hold on y'all. I couldn't even concentrate. I was overwhelmed. I couldn't even talk. So the jacket I've been seeing, I'm gonna put it up on the screen. It's a corduroy jacket. That it's like boutique-y. Um, and I am going to put patches on one. I'm gonna find one and I'm gonna put the patches on like so to make it look like, look like a queen of sparkles. If y'all know what queen of sparkles is, it's like clothes that cost $240 for a hoodie <laughs> your girl ain't spending that much especially when i can dupe it up savannah yeah i said dupe especially when i can dupe it up okay so we got that that's all for our order um a lot of people always ask me how is timu i love timu timu come faster than she in i don't know how i don't know who they got in their shipping department <laughs> but baby they be on they shit's not eat okay so that's all I have. I haven't ordered anything else. Um, I've been on a halt of doing that. So um, I am about to put up these eggs that my father-in-law gave us because y'all know we went down there yesterday and we got a bag full of eggs. Look at that. He washed them off and stuff. So I got to put them in our little slot. <clears throat> And once I put them in our little slot, I'm going to unload this dishwasher and load it again because we got a sink full of dishes from yesterday. And I'm about to help Alan with his work. Unfortunately, your boy is on punishment, okay? He was in class today and he got a little pink note sit, sent home because he wanted to play the, the cheese touch in class. And he got in trouble for that, unfortunately. So his daddy took his TV. Um, so we are about to do his homework while his homework is being done. Like I said, unload and load the dishwasher. And I'm going to be watching Chelsea Janae's new vlog. After I'm done with hers, I'm going to get finished watching McKenna Walker. Because let me tell you something about McKenna Walker. Baby, she's going to have movies. Over there. She's going to have movies. She ain't going to have no vlogs. Like her vlogs be like two hours and 40 minutes. So I have to break her vlogs up in days. <laughs> so yeah, that's what's about to go on. Um, so when I'm through doing the dishes and helping him with his homework and stuff like that, then I am going to um, start on this terracotta pumpkin that I wanted to do. I told you I want to add green to the fireplace to give that, you know, feel. And I've been seeing the terracotta pumpkins all over the gram. So I'm about to do it my way, not that brown way. I'm gonna do a pop of color. Are you okay? Yeah. Jesus. So yeah, I'll see y'all in a minute. 
Okay, y'all. Let me show y'all what I'm about to do. Having this ring light on makes such a big difference. My skin looks so good, though. Do it? It does. It looks like you pull up. Except this. I got. I had a bump, and I tried to burst it, and it looked like a fever blister. But anyway. Yeah, her bump. Two of it. Two. Oh, she want to be in my business so bad. Get back. <laughs> anyway, let me show y'all what we're about to do. So I got yeah, this. We colors. So I got this pumpkin from Lowe's, and this pumpkin was. And it, so it's 1698, pretty. Ninety eight, as y'all can see. It's pretty, y'all. And it is a. Plug and my mama in. finna paint it. <laughs> it's a plug in so it'll light up of course you know whenever you plug it in so i'm yeah. about to do the terracotta pumpkin but it's gonna be green terracotta. this is the color green that we are using it's called arbor green i put my nails back on and another green oh girl watch out it's another green. i got a regular old paintbrush and we just and paint the wall y'all um thing of baking soda so how I'm about to do this is we're gonna pop this tag and we're gonna go ahead and start doing this. But I'm not going to pop the tag just yet because I want to make some cute Halloween content on my um, Instagram. So I'm just gonna do this for now. Do y'all see what it looks like? I told y'all where it came from. So I'm gonna pop the tag and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, y'all, so I recorded the first little bit of the video. I am just adding some of this good old green paint into a plate, and I am putting baking soda like that. I think this is a lot. <laughs> yeah, this is too much. It's making it real chunky, yeah. I don't want it to be chunky. I just need to be pasty. What is chunky really mean? Okay, so yeah, it's pasty. It's too pasty though. Let's see, this is trial and error. I've never done this before. I just keep seeing it all over Instagram, and I think those are very cute. See, Bootsy. So I want to do it. Okay. All right, girl. relax. Okay. okay. So yeah, it looks. Hey, sir. Hey. Hey. So let's see what happens. Hey, <clears throat> let's start at the back and see what happens. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Wait, I thought you let sit y'all up. <laughs> I'm talking to my vlog. And yes, I'm doing it on my coffee table because all I gotta do is wipe it off if something is wrong. Let's take that light out. Like yeah, they are here playing a game on Kidopia. If you're if you have littles, Kidopia is like the best thing ever. Because Wait, do you have to pay to get all the actions? Kidopia? Yes. Yeah, I already pay for it once a month. I think so, yeah, y'all, that's what it looks like. Yes. For now, for now, for now. That's good. Oh, okay. <gasps> and I did want to paint with you. Let mommy do this, okay? Okay. By yourself? Yeah, let me do this by myself for now, okay? Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. I may need a couple coats, but y'all get the concept. Yes. Oh, it's going to be cute. Coat. I might need it in a second, okay? And can I squeeze it on I'm that? gonna paint up. Yes, you do, guys. Oh, y'all, and while I'm doing this, I have been looking up accent wall ideas, easy accent wall ideas for the bedroom. AJ and I talked about it yesterday, and y'all know I've always wanted the green accent wall. He was like, I don't think green is gonna go good since you have the green oh curtains now but i'm popping this picture up on the screen to show y'all that these people did green curtains and a green accent wall and it was gorgeous now the curtains were sage 
you know our curtains are more emerald velvet than anything um their curtains were sage i don't want a sage wall but um i may consider doing like the emerald green um little sponge backdrop or accent wall because that's cute too but anyway y'all when I'm done, I will be back to show y'all what this looks like. I'm about to get finished watching a vlog. Okay, so this is what the terracotta pumpkin looks like. My bats are slowly, surely, slowly but surely falling off the wall. But this is what the terracotta pumpkin looks like. It has to dry completely, but I'm liking it. Um, I'm going to mix him in with the other pumpkins because he looks just like he's sitting over by his lonesome. So I'm probably gonna switch him out with the white and black. You know, just try to make it go with each other. Um, I got a little ghost garland that I wanna make also with this to loop here to kinda, oops, to loop stuff all the way in. So it won't look so weird. So right now I'm not liking just that. It looks kinda, I don't know. It ain't it for me all the way, so. I'm going to do the DIY garland right there, and I think it'll tie it all in. Um, but anyway, that is going to be it for me tonight because I'm about to go to bed. It is like 8.15, and I got the kids to getting ready to get in the bed. Alan just did his homework with AJ, and it's going to be nights out for me because I am sleepy, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, gorgeous people. It is Tuesday and we are continuing homecoming week. Today is hippies versus hip hop. I'm a hippie, Alan dressed as hip hop. So we are headed to school. I just went by Starbucks to get them a breakfast item and some water. I got me a trench of water and a sausage egg burrito. So we are headed on in um, today. Not sure what's going to go on after school besides me making cheesecakes. Um, update on the uh, vendor marketplace. I saw it out of all my cheesecakes that day. <laughs> so I have to, of course, make more, um, make more cheesecakes to put up there in order to continue to build the revenue, of course. Um, I still have tons of cookies because I put a lot of cookies in there, as y'all seen on the last vlog. I am just undecided on what flavor I want to do. I have been asking people on Facebook, like, what flavor should I do? I am getting a ton of pumpkin. I am getting a ton of sweet potato praline. Um, so I think that that's what I'm going to do is make a sweet potato cheesecake with a praline topping. That's very well known in New Orleans, and I had no clue about that. Um... So, yeah, I am going to do that when I get off. Um, Alan has football practice. Thanks for remind, reminding me, even though AJ going to take him. I'm trying to see what else. I don't know what else is going to go on. I have several things that I need to do. It's just like during the week, I don't think I can start major projects. I don't think I can start major projects during the week because of me working and I don't want to be tired out. So, probably nothing major is going to happen. <sighs> yeah, probably nothing major is going to happen. Absolutely not. AJ's planning date night this weekend. He's planning date night. <clears throat> and I'm excited about that because I told him I was like, we didn't get to do it last weekend. Figure it out, boo-boo. He was like, just tell me where you want to go. Uh-uh, uh-uh. I was like, I know that you are more than capable of planning a date night. So, plan somewhere for us to go. I said, tell me what time. When I got to get ready. All that should ask. And, baby, I'm going to be... I'm going to be ready. But, um... Oh, y'all know what I did tell y'all I was going to do? That garland. The yellow garland was wrong. Starbucks water tastes like fountain water. It's good. Um, that garland, that ghost garland, to put it up, 
I know I want to do that. I forgot about that. Cheesecakes, cook dinner, and I guess make the garland. So yeah, we still have loads of clothes laying everywhere. So I'm really just wanting to fold up clothes. Cause tomorrow is Wednesday. Yeah, you have a field trip. Tomorrow's Wednesday, and I'm really trying to see if I can tackle that. Yeah, I'm finna say at laundry room. I'm really trying to see if I can tackle that. It's just a lot of taking down. I will have to clear that laundry room. Of course, not the wash and dry, but I will have to clear that laundry room. I don't know, y'all. We'll see. We'll see. Let's drop Addie off and. I'll see y'all when I get home. Hello, y'all. It is later. And we are at TCBY for a afternoon snack. We met my mama sporadically. And, or not sporadically, is that the word? Sporadically? Maybe that's the word. If it ain't the word, whatever. We met her on a whim, okay? We met her on a whim. And then she treated the kids to ice cream. So, we're here. Wait, you could have gave me that money. So we're here about to get some ice cream. And then when I hear, hold y'all money. And when we leave here, I'm going on home. Uh, Kiara told me she was coming to visit me today. For what? For what? Because she want to come visit me, boy. That's what. So, I'm going home. So that I can change out of these clothes and put some comfortable on and get myself together for my company. Addie wanted to do her homework so bad, Lord. Miss Girl, tell them what today is. Number three day. Number three day. I don't know where she get that from, but whatever. Come on. Please go slow. Please go slow. Hello. Come on. Got some bags. I do. Get your cup. I got a milkshake. I am so irritated, so livid, so fucking irritated right now. I have been at Walmart since. Can you stop, Eddie? Now, stop. They're on ten. We've been sitting at the Walmart pickup for since. 441 and before anybody says if they messing up why you won't just go in and get your own stuff because it works for me and I have two children that I don't want to get out the, the freaking car to go in the store after I have worked eight hours at a school I'm overstimulated like hell these people gave my order to somebody else it is 520 in 20 minutes we'll be in the set here for an hour. My friend is on her way to my house. I ain't doing no crap that I needed to do before she got there. They gave my order to the person that was next to me. Can I see it because you won't stop? Thank you. They gave my order to the person that was, okay, when when I, when I you're done and when you're calmed down, you can have it back. But right, hush, hush for now. They gave my order to the woman next to me and he went to pick my order again and gave me this which is a pack of frozen strawberries and two box of Keebler loose graham cracker crust and I ordered cream cheese I ordered lettuce I ordered sweet potatoes I have none of it and all I wanted to do was just grab this and go. Tell 
taking the kids in there with me after work and after school is so hard and if you are a mother you understand not wanting to take your kids into walmart at the end of the day when you've been at work like eddie stop it it's a struggle because y'all see how she acting already how long got football practice in 30 minutes oh my god in 30 minutes well 15 minutes he gotta be at home getting ready because AJ will be getting up in 15 minutes and we ain't even made it home yet. I am so, oh, I'm so annoyed. Y'all always remember one man's trash is another man's treasure, okay? <laughs> Kiara girlfriend brought me this little chef. Well, she was her chef. Kiara brought it to me because she didn't want to use it no more. But baby, we, we gonna stock this thing up like we at Walmart, okay? That's what we're going to do, and we appreciate that. So, Addie is being a granny, <laughs> and Grandma is stocking up, ain't it, Grandma? <laughs> <laughs> Addie! Addie, Addie, you stocking it up for me, Grandma? No, yes. So, with the help of Kiara, she is doing yeah. the thing, okay? She doing the thing. We are in the midst of making tacos. I am doing a taco charcuterie board so I can try and um, make a quick reel because I haven't made a food reel in a long time. So I'll be making a taco charcuterie board reel. Unfortunately, I don't have lettuce because Walmart messed up my order. And I'm very sad about it because I was looking forward to that lettuce on my taco. But we're making the meat. The um shrimp and steak are already done so while this meat is cooking i'm about to do a change around this stuff right here is about to move yeah my falsies are there but this is about to move so all of this stuff here is about to be on this side because the uh i had to turn my ring light because the um air fryer is going to go over here because I think that makes more sense, the air fryer being by the stove instead of all the way on this side. So we're about to change this around. So let's do it. Miss Sheila is very Bible-based teaching. Yes. So Addie comes home all the time. Uh -oh. Addie comes home all the time and is like, "Thank you, Lord, for my grace and mercy." I'm like, "Baby, you finna start shelving in a minute." Right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I want to wipe that off before. I clearly. Do. If you got some clear container, yeah. Woo! I'm gonna buy that. That clear container from Dollar Tree. If you have two, I can put them on the top and then I put the ding down, the Lorna, and then I honestly don't think I have a clear container. Sad to say. When we got, y'all, at one point, I literally had a whole obsession with putting flour in containers and all that kind of stuff. And now, I understand that that's just a waste of money. Yeah. Because, like, at one point, when we were at the apartment, I literally had my laundry room with dish detergent, dish, not dish detergent, but laundry detergent coming out <coughs> of a little spout. The spout continued to get stocked up. Yeah, I like this out here better. It continued to get stocked up. And my crazy tail stuff... 
who just unslotted me and pouring it out the top. So I was like, what's the point in this? <laughs> it's just a waste of time and a waste of money. So I stopped doing it. Because no. Okay, let's set this up. Also, when I be posting like decor stuff, it gonna hit on Instagram like my food does. And I feel like that's so crazy to me. Because I started out doing straight up decor. And don't want to be like, girl, I wanna see that shit. We want to see what you're cooking or not. <laughs> like, they be like, yeah, we don't want to see that. What you cooking, good looking? Okay. I feel like I need this to be on the tray. It's okay, but I feel like I need that to be on the tray. Now, getting clear containers to put this stuff in, I think I need. This don't belong here. They don't belong here. Um, I also bought these, y'all. I'm, I'm embarrassed to open it that way because it's bad. I bought these to go under the kitchen counter. They come on. Hold on. Who comes on? There we go. See, it comes on to put it under there. And this one has fallen. So, hold on, Mama. Okay. So, yeah, that looks okay. I just feel like a, um, on a, on a tray or something will make it look better. I don't know. I'm going to get to making this meat for the taco. <laughs> Hey friends, happy Wednesday evening. We are home. I am done cooking dinner. I did one pot pasta. I'm going to add what that looks like on the next little piece of the video. But I'm going to go ahead and close out this vlog so I can start a new one. I really appreciate the support and love that you guys have been showing me lately. If you haven't already, please, please, please consider subscribing to the family. I would love to have you a part of my family, y'all. Make sure that you leave us a pink heart. Those pink hearts have been carrying me over, okay? The pink hearts have been definitely getting me out there and letting other people see who at home with Jastiny is. So once again, I'm gonna show y'all what this pasta look like on the next slide. But pink hearts, have you made it to the end? Peace. Let's get it. I pop for 16 passenger. This a G5. No, this not a challenger. Big one. I keep some members with me in the fridge. The coat seats. They some cannibals. Eat us. They like the geek geek. Drink a whole bottle. Wake up and repeat. Damn. She took a look. Mixed it with the chill out. Now she say she's saying 3D. Wow. I go in the jungle and they got a coat. I bet I come out with a meme. I bet I do this shit for the fam. Cause this shit bigger than me. Big. Color stones in my infinity link. And in the factory masterpiece. I call them twin. Cause that be my brother. We got